you'll see here I'm cutting from a map and I'm cutting the shape of a circle. Now I'm drawing onto graph paper um, some really interesting, exciting shapes because my main idea was happiness or excitement. That was my color scheme. That's how I chose. So here I am cutting out these interesting shapes. I actually was able to get two out of one here by folding my paper. Then I am realizing that my colors were really similar to my background, so I decided to glue the circle onto another piece of paper and repeat blues around that main circle to show repetition and also contrast, where things look different so they stand out better. Um, now I'm thinking about how else I can deconstruct some weird papers. So I found an old watercolor painting I did, and I cut them into triangles that repeat. Now I'm using actually a whiteout pen to draw onto my watercolor background. I'm just cutting as I go and kind of arranging. I haven't glued anything down yet so that I can arrange this artwork in many different ways before I could commit to anything. That way I can figure out what looks good to me um, before I make any permanent glued decisions. Here I'm going in with some gel pins to really make my weird shapes pop so that they are bright and they help communicate my theme of happiness or excitement. Um, and I'm rearranging these things, but eventually I will glue them all down, like I said before. You're gonna wanna show contrast, repetition, and as many elements of art as you can in this artwork. You also wanna fill the space and communicate your color scheme or mood.